Okay, I'm gonna guess most of you snazzy people have friends, and if you don't, it's okay, my dude. I'll be your friend. We can even play Roblox. <coughs> I mean Fortnite. That that that's what's in now, right? Right? If you know me well, you know that I'm actually a relatively quiet person. If I don't know you, if I do, boy, are you in for a treat? Buckle up, children. I'm extremely crazy and will constantly try my best to be weird or embarrass you. Unless you're just the same. Then we can embarrass my brother. High five. So, in my 500,000 years of living, I've come across a few friends that were either mean or a pain in the patootie. I remember when my self-confidence dropped to an all-time low because of some kid. It doesn't have much to do with the video, but it's my video and I can do what I want. <laughs> I was at Ikea, and I met a kid in the play area. Keep in mind, I was like five at the time. I saw some kid, and he went up to me and was like, Hi, what's your name? I said, insert alpaca name here, and he replied, Haha, pooper. I know that kid wasn't very bright and wasn't that funny, but at the, my age, I was heartbroken. I spent the next week just contemplating my life. I was so sad. But thinking back at it, it was pretty funny. <laughs> When I was in maybe grade 3, I went to this camp, let's call it ACMY, and it was over the summer. I was having a great old time until this one kid showed up, and boy was he a doofagus magoofagus. From day one, he was already acting super fishy. He was a fish. <gasps> I'm... I'm just kidding. <laughs> but he was acting super sketchy. After about three days at the ACMY, he started being a huge meanie. He started calling me a bunch of bad words, and he used some really foul language. And we were in grade three. There was this one time where he took it too far. We were sitting in the homework room. Ugh, dude, just the sound of that makes me shiver. We were in the homework room, and the ACMY people started talking. Then the mean man, let's call him Jacob, because why not? Jacob started heckin' kicking me. In the back. Me being the third grader... Took that as the last straw. I put my hand up and told on him. Oh yeah. The ACMY member was like, Jacob, why'd you do that? And you know what he said? He said it was because I was a big dumb dumb head. But he's more inappropriate language. After what he said, the ACMY staff were astonished at what he said. Five minutes later, his grandmother arrived to pick him up and he was never seen again. I didn't get rid of him on my own though. My brother and I met this kid that I found relatively cool at the time, but looking back, I'm kind of happy we separated the way we did because he was kind of annoying. I still had fun with him though. Let's call him Misha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do that. We soon befriended Misha and found out we were going to the same school the following year. I was happy that I wasn't going into the school alone. I went to his house a couple times and he was so cool. He had need for speed rivals, which was pretty cool at the time. We went to one of his birthday parties one time and he convinced me that we were watching Spider-Man in 4D. And you probably don't know this about me, but I despise 4D movies. Later though, I discovered it was only 3D. But the chairs moved and I'm a big boy, so I'm not scared of some silly moving chairs. <laughs> After some time passed, there was this one kid. I also remember back in like third grade, I remember all the kindergartners looked up to me because I gave them piggyback rides, but one of the kids would just nonstop ask me about questions and it got to the point where I just tried to avoid him. Yes, I know that was kind of mean, but it was nonstop. Hey, alpaca, alpaca. What color is the sky? How many fingers do I have? How many toes do I have? Am I living or am I Dr. Yeetus Defeatus? Now let's seemly transition into 5th grade. There was this one dude, let's call him Scruffy. Scruffy was really cool for a good while. We both had really small YouTube channels and so we tried to collab a lot. Then about halfway through the year, Scruffy changed. I don't know what happened, but he just became the biggest butt like ever. Something that really bugged me but made me feel bad slash sad was projects. He constantly asked to be my partner. Now, normally that'd be okay, but he was not suitable for partner projects. He nonstop talked and fooled around when we needed to be working. He did that with other partners too. I was an average BRA student, but when I had projects with him, everything was all me and it'd nearly be a beer lower. So I just kept telling him, dude, I'll partner next time. If I came to my senses sooner, I would have just said, no, you're not a good work partner. You constantly talk and fool around, and that's not what we're supposed to be doing. I'm almost positive he's changed though, and he would be pretty cool. But there was this other time that crossed the line. Oh my gosh. 
This crossed the line by so much, it was blasting through the atmosphere. I went to the dollar store and found something called Warheads. They're these super sour candies, and my brother and I got some. We were so excited to show our friends. I brought them to school the following day and showed my friends. They thought they were cool, too. I gave them each one because I was running low. Me being the owner of the candies, I kept two for myself. My friends consumed their candies and blurted out hilarious reactions. Then you know what Scruffy did? After he ate the one I gave him, he took another one from my hand and ate it. It wasn't much, but my 10-year-old self was mad. I was trying to evenly share my candy with all my friends, and he just takes one. Like, what the freak, dude? I yell at him as he laughs. Scruffy says, it's just a joke, dude. How is that a joke, dude? If it's a joke, it wouldn't affect anyone, and you most likely be able to give the candy back. That's not a joke. It's something mean to do. Humph. To be real, Scruffy is probably not watching this video because now he goes to, like, a school far, far away from where I live. And if you are Scruffy, I hope you know what a joke is now.